Hello there. Today we will be doing a compare of U.com versus Perplexity AI, specifically in the uh, market research area. And in this market research, I'm doing uh, market trend analysis. Uh, this was part of a, a larger project around understanding the market and audience within product marketing. So we'll do a quick compare of U.com's results versus Perplexity AI's results and see which one is superior as of May 16th, 2024. So things will change pretty rapidly across these two tools, but let's do a quick check. So I have a prompt, which is uh, out here. And the prompt is to look at a specific industry, in this case, databases, and within the NoSQL space. So I have this prompt here as you see. And I am looking at shifts in trends and needs uh, for customers. And I'm trying to segment that into uh, different personas. So that's the, that's the prompt you see here. And this is something I already ran. It goes across, u.com goes across multiple uh, sources. And it has done a pretty decent job looking at multiple trends. It has labeled it platform has gone ahead gone ahead and labeled it and it has also done personas the startup innovator enterprise architect open source advocate and so on right so you have that and then i can run this thing on uh, i'll copy this prompt and i'll run this against perplexity ai remember i'm using the research mode it's important that that's uh, called out it's a research mode within you.com so you'll see that on the top here but on perplexity, uh, let's run this uh, new thing, perplexity.ai. I will switch the mode into uh, academic mode. It'll copy this thing. I don't have a equivalent research mode here, YouTube, Reddit, and all. So I'll do the academic mode, and I'll ask the same question here. And let's see what it does. It does not have 2024 data. Did call that out. Let me quickly check this. Uh, it did not call that out, right? Uh, so it might be more recent. I'm not sure. But let me go to perplexity again. Okay, got it. Right, it has the trends labeled out one to five trends, whereas the uh, u.com had more trends, I believe. Yep, seven trends. And I come back here. It does uh, classify based on needs and expectation, but it does not do the other thing, which is the persona ask. I did uh, into distinct personas. I did ask specifically, but did not do the persona thing. So let's do a quick compare. Maybe there's some advantages here um, or differences here. If I do a copy, okay, let's do a compare. Uh, I'm using another tool. I'll use Gemini here and do a compare with these two texts. I'll copy this text. Let's go down here, scroll down, copy that text. In Gemini, I will put a prompt, uh, a new chat, and I will put a prompt here. Before I do the prompt, okay, let's do this. Let's uh, let's compare. Please compare uh, the text provided. Uh, text one and text two, uh, which are, uh, which are, you know, um, within quotes, double quotes, uh, Please compare the market research text. Double quotes. Uh, please let me know which one is superior. Superior and why. Okay. Um, and then I'll keep it brief like that. And I'll put text one. I'll copy the text from you.com. I'll put that within quotes. Then I'll say text 
two. I'll copy the text from. Uh, I'll copy the text from perplexity for market research text from here. So I'll copy this text. I'll put that within here. And uh, interestingly, when I copied it, it had citations. So it had some papers it looked like. Uh, I didn't see that here. Interesting, maybe it is there. No, I did not see it here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, these these citations. Um, interesting, it looks at astronomy for some reason. Uh, I'm not sure why, but let's copy that. And let's see what Gemini has to say. Okay, text one, which is uh, from you.com is superior to text two, which is from Perplexity AI. And the reasons are relevance. It does address a prompt inquiry about 2024. And text two acknowledges the lack of relevant information. So it's calling that out. But let's assume that's, you know, the, the uh, recency is not the problem, but let's look at specificity. Text one does deep uh, does deeper dive. And text two, and it also details our customer personas. Yeah, that's one of the big advantages with you.com. And text two, which is from Perplexity, does it does not have the specifics. Actionable insights, text one does offer valuable insights, and text two does not offer, uh, uh, text two does focus on customer needs and specific without actionable details. So it's a more comprehensive result is what I see, at least at this point from you.com. And I'll stop there for now.